hello and welcome back to this channel so in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create an animated gif with a transparent background in adobe fresco i'm going to be drawing a cute little girl i'll also show you how to draw a boy instead of a girl um, so the process is similar and then you can also do a self-portrait by the way but yeah so i guess let's just get started so before we get started, I just wanted to say that I have a couple of new classes on Skillshare and if you want to access these classes for free, there's a link in the description box below for one month free Skillshare access. So go ahead and click on that and yeah, do go check it out and let me know how you like it. Okay, so let's start working on our Jeff. Open your Fresco and click on Create New. I'm going to be using a square art pot for this under Digital and Square. You can use any shape or size depending on what you're drawing. Okay, it's time to sketch. If you want to skip sketching part and just bring in the image, I have the image in the description box below. And once you download it, click on images, photos and bring the image in. But we're going to sketch first. Go to pixel brushes. I'm going to go into charcoal and charcoal pencil. And I found that when I sketch with charcoal pencil, everything looks extra nicer. So yeah, do give this pencil a try. So we'll start off with the face and I'm going to draw a a basic shape it's not perfectly round but I think a little bit smaller it can be flat here the whole idea is don't make it extremely round so don't do this and hold on to it so that it becomes extremely round like that do you see that that doesn't look good when you're drawing these kind of characters so just make an approximate circle now let's give in some ears and then we're going to add a neck and then let's add a collar and something like that. Now it's time to make it into a girl or a boy depending on your preference. So plus I'm going to start off with the boy because I think I'm going to do the girl version for this tutorial. So for boy make hair um, however you want but I think I'm going to do a bit of things like this and maybe like that so this part you know is going to be his hair all right so maybe a strand like that that should be okay and now I'll hide it and plus of course boys can have long hair too that's completely okay and girls can have short hair so it's up to you now I'm going to make a hairstyle for a girl and I want the girl to have a little bit of longer hair like that that's good now plus we're gonna make some eyes let's make cute little eyes the wider your eyes are the cuter they look so i'll show it to you this doesn't look that great <laughs> but if you make it wide enough they suddenly look cute and then you're gonna make a mouth cute little tiny little mouth and your sketch is ready and now once this is ready you can arrange it however you want on the artboard so i'm just going to click and merge down because i seem like i made it on a different layer merge down now everything here is one layer and i want to merge down with this as well i'm going to pull this up if you click and hold it highlights and it will move wherever you want it to move click and merge down now it's one layer so click on transform tool and we're going to position it right in the center if you don't see these blue lines go to your graph here or grid go to snapping and click on these alignment guides it's better to turn on both of these because it's kind of helpful when you're drawing things and there you go your girl is ready and now it's time to go ahead and add some colors so i'll go to my levels and i'm going to decrease the opacity of the sketch a little bit by doing this you need to do this when you bring in a sketch as well otherwise it'll be too um yeah too loud i guess now plus so there are multiple ways in which you can color this artwork one is pixel brushes and the one is vector brushes so we're going to use the vector brush for this because it's also quicker all right let's get started i need some black for the hair some skin color so use whatever skin color that you want to use i'm going to use slightly brownish because I am brown so let's go ahead and do that um, of course I will move this outer layer somewhere around and I'll try to make it brownish something like that maybe yeah I 
think that should be good. I'll go to my vector brushes and I will go into jitter because I want a nice slight jittery outlines, I guess. So I'm going to use light jitter and my brush is set to 30s. You can decrease or increase this. Totally depends on, depends on how you want to do it. Smoothing is at 50. You can increase this if you want or lower it. I can keep it at 50s itself. And that's it. Everything else is same. We're going to draw the face. Do not draw it on the sketch layer. Anyways, it won't work on the sketch layer because a sketch layer is a pixel layer. Do you see the symbol over here? And we are using vector brushes and um, it automatically creates a new layer and does not draw on the pixel layer. They don't mix like it's oil and water. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to draw the face and don't worry about keeping exactly as the lines and stuff like that it's completely okay I see a strand of hair here let me push it out make sure you join in use your fill tool and fill it up okay the sketch is in the background so I'm gonna click and hold and bring it all the way up so that I can see the sketch properly and I'm going to draw everything below that and there seems to be something in the background here what is this I don't know undo use my brush put it to the max and i'm going to try erase it so that this moves to the center of the artboard let me see if that works oh there you go now there's no extra strokes go back to your brush now i'm going to go below that face layer plus and i'm going to have to draw my neck right so i'm going to draw my neck outline it like that and make sure that you close this and fill it in perfect Let's draw the hair. You can go up plus you can divide it into two parts like do the bangs on top of the face and then do the rest behind. I think that works as well. So but let's do everything in one single layer because lazy. So oh, go back to your brush vector brush again and we're going to outline this like that. Okay, once you have this ready, it's time to fill it, fill and perfect. Now we forgot the ears and because it's black, you can't see them. So I'm going to hide it real quick. I'll go back to the face layer. No, I can't go to the face layer. I need to go on top of the hair. Plus when choose that other color, whatever skin color you have chosen, back to your brush and let's draw this can color it in just like that doesn't need a film tool perfect let's bring back the hair and it should be there nice and cute except this isn't so erase it all I'm gonna oops, bring it all the way down oh sorry where's the ear layer okay go back to your ear layer and make it cute there you go, all set. And now let's add a t-shirt plus any color, pink, blue, orange, whatever you wanna add. Maybe let's do blue. So let's go here and add this. And fill it up. I'm gonna click and hold and bring it all the way to the bottom. Everything looks good. Go back up plus select black. Go to your pen tool and we're going to make this. I'm making the mouth in the same layer as the eyes because I don't have anything special planned for mouth. Like it's going to match the eye movements. So if you feel like you're going to do different kinds of movements which do not match with the eyes, then make the mouth in a different layer. But this should be good. Let's hide the sketch and see if it looks okay. Perfect. Let's add some extra bits to it, like shadows and stuff. Go back to your neck layer plus and click on this clipping mask. We're going to go into levels, make this multiply and reduce the opacity to maybe about half of this. You can also click and type in. You don't have to be so precise. Now let's go back to that color that you used for the skin. And I'm going to add and try to add a bit of shadow here like that. That's okay. 
go back to the ear layer plus clipping mask again multiply reduce the opacity you need to keep it around same number as you did for the neck otherwise it might look odd and then draw a bit of shadow so I'm not great at drawing shadows so you can see that yeah it's not coming out great but yeah do something that looks like a shadow I guess maybe like that let me undo that maybe okay like that okay I think that's good now we'll go back to the hair layer and go to a layer below that and plus now let's choose multiply again same number and we're going to make clipping mask on the face because we're going to draw a bit of shadow here like that do you see what i'm doing there so again i'm not good with shadows so i'm going to pretend that i know all about shadows okay there you go ruler off that looks good let's add some cute cheeks shall we now plus this has to be on top of the face so we'll go and select some pink so move this to pink if you want the exact same colors i can give you the color palette um, the color code so you'll just have to go into this hsp slider and click and type in the number that you want so this pink is 324 32 and 100 so you just click and then type in and then yeah you'll have the exact same color as me so i'm going to add some pink blush but you can see this pink isn't great so we're going to go into levels click go all the way to screen we don't want it so white so we're going to reduce this so that it looks nice and cute you can also reduce the opacity by the way if you want to go that route and about hair i'm going to go back to my black add a bit of things like that i think our girl is cute and pretty if you want to add more things i would suggest adding some designs to the shirt let's add a bit of lines to the hair i guess plus you can do clipping mask and i'm going to go to black and just pull this up a little so that it's slightly lighter so this is almost like 0 1 and 26 and i'm going to add some lines like this so that it doesn't look flat you know what i mean okay that should be good now it's time to animate it let's do that there are a few things that we're going to animate the eyes the mouth and move the hair a little bit and if you want an optional background so let's begin let's do the eyes and the mouth first so click on that layer you can figure out which layer you're on by clicking this eye button and you can see it goes away so click on motion that's good now click on plus so now you can see things in purple or i don't know if you can see it in some other color on your screen but mine's purple so this means the onion skin is turned on if you cannot see anything here at all and it looks blank go to your settings make sure you have turned on onion skin and these things don't matter right now this is the opacity of how much you want to see from the previous layer and you can keep it as low as you want or as high as you want i'm just going to keep it at 20s again this is editable as well just like that frames per second we can change it later but i want to keep it at two because we have a jeff which is very slow and nice so i'm in black i am in my brush the same size that i used to draw the original eyes and i'm going to draw oh this is not the same size that i used did i i'll make it a bit bigger and thicker because i want the eyes to be a little thicker like that like that and i'm going to make a bit like that that's good and i want to add a bit of things on the side so i'm going to make this much smaller nine or ten and then add a bit like that so now let's play it and you see she isn't quite happy <laughs> let's do something to the hair now click here let's go to the hair layer i'm going to click and 
duplicate frame so it's the same thing now but you see it's slightly purple we'll click on our transform tool and click on just frame transform now let's click on distort and then you can change this however you want and you see this orange I mean the purple here this is the background like how it was and we're going to fix this a little bit like that and maybe bob this up a little slightly and you can see this edits we have to go fix it but that's all right so click on done and play it she doesn't like that so we're going to go into the second layer and we're going to go into ears now and we need to fix the ears here so i'm going to go ahead and click on duplicate frame now you see that let's go back to our original color and we're going to make sure that increase the size and we'll make sure that our ears look all right and now we have to erase this part oops because it's too big you can also use the distort tool on it and edit it that's fine as well see now the ears are fixed so if you have anything that needs fixing like the throat or the neck or something like that you can do that as well okay so your basic animated girl is ready and you can add a background to it so go all the way back down to the layer which has images plus and i'm going to choose some blue maybe go back to your brush there you go that's good go to your path and in here you can do lots of things um maybe flicker pause play all and then it kind of flickers and comes back and goes off or you can experiment with a lot of different things here yeah. bob breathe is one more of my favorite things and then you can do grow or shrink you can make it smaller you can make it you know it goes into smaller like that we can make it bigger it starts to grow bigger number of times you can keep it once so yeah you can change all this in and sway we don't want sway and sparkle um it just comes and you know sparkles fully and then goes away so yeah you can do that or you can keep it completely simple without any of those that's all right too so i'm gonna hide it because i don't want the background i just want the curl now it's time to export it as a transparent gif so go back to your image layer and click on i to hide it click on share then click on publish and export go to motion here choose gif then click on transparent background this is really important and generate frames and now export it and save it to whatever device you want or send it as stickers or whatever you like and that's the end of this tutorial i hope you really liked it and i'm so excited to see what you guys create if you do create something share it on instagram or tiktok my name's at premi some color or think beyond color i would love to check it out if you're stuck somewhere and if you need help with figuring out something don't hesitate to leave a comment below i will get back to you as soon as possible if you want to support this channel you can always buy me a coffee at coffee.com you can find the link to do that in the description box below okay i think i'll see you in the next video then bye bye